An absolutely insane amount of effort goes into developing a video game. From character animation, to environment design, to AI programming, there seems to be no end to the work involved. Like a big old showy peacock, all the goods of a game are there to marvel at when we pop a disc in and get a face full of digital delights. But as much as we might be pleased with surface-level details, like light shining through ear cartilage in Red Dead Redemption 2 or nuanced police mechanics in Mafia 3, what about the instances where less is more? Where details are on full display, yet how they work remains a mystery. There's entire systems, engines, and programming languages that have been implemented or even invented to improve our gaming experience, without anyone ever drawing attention to them, secretive as they might be. Some things in gaming might not seem all that incredible at face value, but trust me, once you learn these industry secrets bubbling away under the surface, you will never see them the same again. I am the Pixel Sorcerer, Ash from What Culture Gaming, and these are 10 ways video games blew your mind without you even realizing. 10. Groundbreaking Water Effects – Halo 3 Convincing simulation of water has always posed a challenge to game developers, and its execution is something of a badge of honor. While most devs settled on flat planes with animated textures for many years, it was Bungie's work on Halo 3 that raised the bar. Rather than flat planes, which look fine from higher angles but less impressive when closer to eye level, Bungie implemented a new system where the water was composed from a mesh which would realistically ripple and distort. Said mesh could be edited to accurately reflect the body of water depicted, from babbling brooks to endless oceans. On top of that, these meshes could also have parameters painted onto them. In order to simulate effects such as the change in the water's resistance when it hit an obstacle such as a rock jutting from its surface. The engineer who designed Halo 3's water system was so impressed by what Bungie was doing that during development, they created a new and improved version in order to give the environment artists even more freedom. Just about any video game water we've seen since can be traced back to Halo 3. Well, I mean everything except that puddle in Spider-Man, since that doesn't exist anymore. But we're not salty about that, are we? 9. Only what you can see is rendered Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon Zero Dawn is a stunningly beautiful open-world title, and remains one of the most visually impressive games on the PS4. This is even more impressive given that developers Guerrilla Games are known primarily for the Killzone series, linear first-person shooters with very little in terms of open-world features. So how, I hear you ask, have they managed to achieve an open world with such lavish detail that doesn't run with the frame rate of a slideshow? Guerrilla Games used a system which allows the game to render only what the player can see, effectively unloading everything off to the side of, or behind, the character's field of view. This, along with a great deal more trickery, such as switching out distant objects with 2D images, allows for the creation of a beautifully playable environment with significantly less processor load. It makes sense that a world full of innovative machines has plenty more of the things grinding away under the surface. 8. Amazing Physics Set Pieces – Uncharted 2 the Uncharted series is no stranger to spectacle. In fact, its success hinges heavily on its huge Hollywood-style set pieces. Probably the most impressive example of this is Uncharted 2's 13th chapter, Locomotion, which sees Drake traversing a freight train whilst under heavy fire, beginning in the jungle and seamlessly transitioning to perilous mountain cliff sides. Unlike video game train sequences that had come before this, Naughty Dog created two huge looping tracks. The train, itself a series of moving physics objects, hurtles along the first loop until the player reaches a suspiciously high-sided train car. A cutscene triggers, obscuring the view of the map, switching out for another, in which a train enters a tunnel. Again, another cutscene masks a further map change, transitioning to the second looping track on the side of a mountain, making up the final stages of the level. It is a masterstroke of both level design and programming. 7. Extreme Dynamic Weather – Drive Club Drive Club was a divisive game on launch, with ire directed at its unfair opponent AI and struggling online counterpart. But one thing critics could firmly agree on were the stellar visuals. A year after its release, a dynamic weather patch pushed this even further. A cut above even the most visually impressive racing games before it, a huge amount of effort was poured into Drive Club's extreme weather conditions, the like of which had never been seen before. Raindrops, rather than simply being thin, semi-transparent lines, are millions of individual droplet particles, each directly affected by the game's physics and lighting engine. The resulting droplets, which then rest on your car's windshield and bonnet, are similarly dynamic. 
Instead of pre-baked animated textures, the droplets react to the vehicle's velocity and direction in real time, streaming down the windshield while static but causing realistic streaks when in motion. The windscreen wipers even then leave realistic streaks and pools when activated. The snow effects take this even further, and when driving in a blizzard at night, the combination of near-total darkness and a blinding onslaught of snow particles reduces visibility to just about zero. Apparently, that's a good thing, but I digress. It is impressive all the same. 6. Geomod 2.0 Technology – Red Faction Gorilla The Red Faction series was never particularly strong in the story department. But you know, that's not what we play Red Faction for. Red Faction is for the opportunity to use whatever we have to hand to level whatever the hell you want in front of you. Never was this more perfectly implemented than in 2009's Red Faction Gorilla, the third installment in the franchise where the introduction of Geomod 2.0 in Gorilla let environmental destruction achieve its full potential. Potential. Beyond simply blowing ever-expanding holes in the landscape and its structures, Geomod 2.0 had its world constructed from weighted ragdoll physics models, all linked to a stress-based collapse model. Attack the bottom of a building with your massively overpowered hammer, smashing away its lowermost components, and eventually it would lose structural integrity finally collapsing into rubble and kicking up an almighty dust cloud. Unfortunately, the game's sequel, Red Faction Armageddon, dropped the sandbox elements of its predecessor and returned to a level-based structure, which limited the destructive potential massively. Environmental destruction in gaming has not since featured as heavily as it did in Gorilla. We can only dream of smashing so effectively ever again. 5. Logan's Insanely Detailed Healing X-Men Origins Wolverine Wolverine has survived a hell of a lot. Across his comic and film career, he has been nuked, beaten by cannibals, reduced to a single cell, and even crushed under a steamroller, only to regenerate in agonizing, gruesome detail. In gaming, for the most part, his signature healing ability hasn't been given its due, mostly tossed out entirely because, you know, not being able to die is a fairly game-breaking advantage. One exception is 2009's X-Men Origins Wolverine, a loose adaptation of Logan's pathetic first solo outing. Along with some seriously graphic, visceral dismemberment, Wolverine's healing factor is on full display here, and it is grisly and very impressive. To achieve the effect, developers Raven Software actually modeled a full skeleton, musculature, and skin model for Wolverine, and they can all be seen regenerating in real time. It's insanely cool, and the only game to do Wolverine's healing factor actually right. 4. First shots for enemies always miss – Bioshock One lovely, lovely little detail from Bioshock is one that no one would have known had Ken Levine not revealed it on Twitter back in 2017. You know that feeling when you walk into a new area, only for a gunshot to crack and a bullet to whiz past your ear, giving you just enough time to snap around and locate your aggressor and engage in another pulse-pounding firefight? It turns out that the first shot from a lead head splicer is programmed to miss every single time. This pulls double duty in that it gives the player that adrenaline high present in a cinematic shootout, but also because it stops you from ever being blindsided by an enemy you couldn't have possibly ever known was present. There are many other features present in the game which balance it nicely, such as enemy AI slowing down when behind the player and a brief period of invulnerability before a killing blow. But it has to be those near misses that take the price. 3. Nuclear Disarmament – Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Now for a video game easter egg that serves as a damning indictment of human nature. The Metal Gear Solid series has always had a strong anti-nuke message running parallel to its silly factions and women getting their bombs out. But there's something especially depressing about Metal Gear Solid V's nuclear disarmament event. When kitting out Mother Base with all manner of defenses and helicopter paint jobs, another checkmark on the list is to create a nuke, as a deterrent for other players, obviously. Kojima, however, hit a cutscene in the game which was intended to trigger only if every single player in the world disarmed their nukes and disposed them, resulting in a literal worldwide nuclear disarmament. Early in 2018, the cutscene triggered, but unfortunately, this turned out to have been a bug. The criteria for how to properly achieve nuclear disarmament has since been revealed by Konami. Whilst it hasn't yet happened, there are players worldwide working together to achieve the result. If it ever were to happen, it would surely be a major and poignant milestone in gaming. 2. 
improvising cutscenes, Uncharted, and other Naughty Dog titles. In a 2011 interview promoting the release of Uncharted 3, Neil Druckmann revealed that a lot of Naughty Dog's perfectly characterized scenes were created with improvisation in mind, writing just a few core lines and outlining the flow of the scene. The actors were then encouraged to improvise around this outline in order to give the dialogue more spontaneity. According to Druckmann, many of the wittiest lines came from the actors rather than the writers. According to this, after gameplay sequences are programmed and captured, they would then be handed to testers who would feed back on where they felt on-screen characters should react to certain events or parts of the environment. The actors would then be brought back in to add these environment-specific lines and actions. It's details like this that bring Naughty Dog's games to life in such a unique way. 1. The AI Director – Left for Dead Valve put a massive amount of effort into a radical new AI system which has barely been matched to this day. Beyond the AI of the zombie hordes and special monsters is the unseen and ominously titled AI Director, a dynamic system that alters the game's pacing, difficulty and atmosphere on the fly. Depending on players' statuses and skills during the playthrough, the director controls when and where hordes will spawn and how frequently players encounter pickups such as ammo and health, creating a different experience every time the game is played. Left 4 Dead 2 then introduced the AI Director 2.0, which expanded on this massively. The director was now able to alter the layout of levels to avoid the player simply rushing to the end, and would reward players with better items should they take more difficult routes. It seems that every now and then, when the stars align and Valve actually release a game, it'll be vastly ahead of the curve. And that's our list. Which of these hidden video game tidbits blew your mind? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash, and this has been What Culture Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more lovely gaming content. Thanks for watching.